Hi guys, so uh, to do the assignment for uh, introduction to chart deficiencies, we're going to again click into the EHR Go link. And step one, um, we're going to go down and uh, download the activity, which is over here on the right, Introduction to Chart Deficiencies. So your learning objectives listed up top. The instructions, we're going to work in the chart of JC Sky Redbird uh, for this activity. You're going to download uh, this and then complete all of the answers on this Word document. So there's nothing to download in step three over here um, after you find all of the answers and JC's chart uh, upon launching. So I'm going to go ahead and launch our chart and Go down to the activity. My dogs are rolling around back there. Sorry if you can hear all that. And barking. Hold on. Okay, so uh, we're going to use the following information to assist us in completing the form uh, after reviewing JC's uh, chart. So we need to identify what items are present, deficient, incomplete, or incorrect in. JC Sky Redbird's chart. So if the item is present, then you check the, blo the box in front of the item to indicate that the item is correctly documented and all relevant information is spelled correctly. If it's deficient, then um, the relevant information or document is missing from the chart. If it's incorrect, then it has an incorrect spelling, the dates or uh, wrong patient name, date of birth, age or sex, um, or the data or what was entered does not match what the rest of the chart uh, has for contents. And if it's incomplete, then the information is missing from the note um, or the order or part of the chart. So if applicable, then identify when and what you would query the physician about to provide clarification about existing or missing information in the chart. So um, <clears throat> at the end of activity, you um, will summarize why and how this chart is deficient. So basically you're going to go through, place a red X next to the applicable box, indicating what you could determine based on thoroughly reviewing all of the boxes or all of the tabs over here in JC Redbird's chart. So um, first of all, from the overview tab is where it starts. So you can see that this starts with the overview. Then we have her um, problems tab. We're going to go through, and then you're going to go through the orders tab, and then you're going to go um, in various things in the orders, and then you're going to go through notes and history and physical, all kinds of stuff here. So you're going to go through all these different tabs and see if any of these things are here, if the information is correct, if it's missing, if it's deficient. Um, so, um, or if it's just incomplete. So, when we look at her overview, um, let me see here. So, when we look at her overview, um, is her are her allergies uh, identified as no known allergies? So. It looks like her allergies are identified. She's at, uh, allergic to methylprednisone tabs, to plaquenil sulfonate, and to sunflower seeds. So we can put a red X there. And um, that it is, so they're all identified, so they're good there. And I will put in here that three allergies identified last appear to be updated on three six. 
19. So it looks like from looking at her overview of her alerts that these were just updated a few days ago. So it looks to be pretty relevant. Now, if these were updated like a year ago, six months ago, allergies change all the time, adverse reactions happen all the time, um, or things that people can become allergic to over time happen frequently. And so we uh, ask about adverse reactions or, or any allergies to medications every time a patient comes in um, because we want to make sure that we are constantly updating this uh, and adding new things if that happens. So it's important to maybe note here that that's, uh, these are all relevant because they were just added a few days ago. So again, you want to go through, look um, in the admission uh, down here in the registration information. You can see that her uh, sex has been identified, that her race and ethnicity so you go through all these data elements, go back up through her problems, and basically that's what you do for this assignment. You just go through her whole entire chart piece by piece, pick it apart, and find out which of these terms to find up here apply to each section of it, and then put a red X um, in that uh, appropriate box or next to it, and uh, make any comments that you feel are appropriate for that particular box. And then when you're all done, you save it uh, as a PDF and then upload it to Canvas. Make sure you don't forget to answer these questions down here uh, using appropriate med terms, which is healthcare terminology, explain why and or how this chart is deficient. So that should tell you that there are definitely going to be some parts of this chart that are deficient. And then um, upload it to Canvas and you're good to go.